In this video, we're going to be covering pumps and transformers. So we'll uh, very quickly start with the transformers that will come in your future. We generally do two different types of transformer. This is called a block style transformer. Um, so it, the connector for the pump basically goes straight into the transformer itself and screws on. Uh, this is suitable for indoor use and outdoor use. Um, but be aware that obviously if you are using it for a garden feature, then these are a little bit tricky sometimes to get into the garden sockets. So, um, so just be aware of making those purchases. At the same time, these is one of our inline transformers. So ultimately they've got the same output, no problem at all, but this does come with a cable on it that plugs into a garden socket. So you can plug that in. And again, the pumps and transformers just fit in the end of the socket, just there and screw in. Just get these off shot. Thank you very much. So with features, obviously there are always a variation in pumps. So we do big pumps, small pumps, um, solar pumps as well, mains power pumps also, 240 and 12 volt. Uh, but you can have a quick look at some of the pumps that we've got on offer and some of the different pump heads that we do for the tubes that we have in a lot of our features to cover a sort of broad spectrum of things that and questions that might come up for different customers. So uh, this is one of our standard 350 pumps. It has what we refer to as a tail or an auxiliary tail. This is where the lights are generally connected to the feature. Um, with maintenance on these, it's nice and easy. If you need to access the impeller at all, what you do is you pull off the front housing. Inside here is a, a secondary housing that holds the impeller. That just twists off and that gives you access to the impeller just inside there. Now, sometimes what can happen is you can get a bit of debris in there and that blocks the impeller from working, obviously stopping the function of the feature. So a um, good bit of maintenance is obviously be able to access that internally so that so you can clean that out. And that does always help with the longevity of the pumps. Uh, we'll have a quick look at one of our solar pumps as well. So this is one of our 200 litre per hour pumps. Again, the front housing of the pump just comes off, giving you access again to the internal propeller, impeller, sorry, there's that. Again, obviously you wanna keep this area nice and clear. If you find that your pump isn't working or it's slightly slow, first thing to do is make sure that you get this all cleaned out. These are on magna drives as well. So what you wanna do is take this out, just give this a wipe down with a, a cloth and wash that out with cold water, make sure nothing's in there that's causing anything to sort of slow the impeller down. Get that on back quickly. We've got a, a larger 650 pump here. Again, same principle. Frontal housing comes off. This one's got a twist connector on it. And then this has got the spindle in it that powers the impeller internally. So again, make sure that everything in there is clear, but that's how that one comes out. Uh, one of our 400 connector pumps here for the solar panels. I think these ones are slightly different. They have a twist fitment on the end here. So you want to twist that one way and then that just comes off. So giving you direct access again to the impeller. And one of our larger 1100 litre pumps here. All the pumps, by the way, on the main features have got flow restrictors on the front here. These are designed to obviously restrict the flow if you needed to, but we generally say work these to a maximum um, flow efficiency. It gives you a, a nice sort of gentle flow on the feature. We do try and spec the features to match the pumps. That comes off there. And on this one, you twist the inside of the housing and then that again comes out with a spindle and that keeps all that clean there. So top tip, keep all that nice and clean and that helps look after the pumps. And uh, we'll do another video where we cover the pump heads.